This is Alex Perez and Mike Morales. Mike Morales. This is tequilaaficionado.com. And you are viewing. I always say we're listening. You're yep. listening. You're listening and seeing us. This is Sipping Off the Cuff. Sipping Off the Cuff. And uh, what do we got tonight? Well, we've got, we, we're going we're gonna to have fun with a little conejo. You know, a little suerte. We're going to do all three uh, of the marks for Suerte Tequila. Suerte is a hot, hot brand right now out of Colorado. Uh, they are um, brand new. As you can see, the bottles are beautiful. We're going to do all three of these uh, varietals, the, the uh, Blanco, Reposado, and Añejo. And uh, this is reportedly a Taona tequila uh, exclusively. It's not a blend, and we've, we've had clarification. There was some question as to whether they were using a Taona. Really using a Taona. Right. Well, explain what a Taona is. A Taona is a stone wheel that's used to mill the uh, agave until it turns into mush, then you take that, or mosto, which is what we, we call it. They take that mosto, put it in a fermentation tank, and that's where it becomes, where the magic happens, where it becomes tequila. And this is a Highlands tequila, by the way. Some of the some of the Taona tequilas that we know of, um, uh, well, El, uh, El Tesoro Don Felipe is a Highlands also, but um, for instance, Fortaleza, that uses exclusively a stone wheel, uh, is, a, is a Lowlands tequila. So. Uh, we're going to try all three of these. That, this would, is, that would be a good comparison. Uh, it w well, yeah, because it really, the fl uh, in my opinion, the flavor profiles will be different. But we're going to find out tonight what we think of the Blanco, the Reposado and Añejo, with suerte. So we've already poured the Blanco. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, it's our light's not that great in here, but... It has some pretty legs. Very, very nice. Mm. Wow. The bouquet on this is is beautiful, and as soon as I opened up the the bottle, it was you could smell it. It's it's instant. It does not it lie. Pouring to... out of the bottle, yes. into the room. <laughs> it's That's green, grassy, very yeah, green, grassy. very grassy. Wow! You smell a little, little bit of the alcohol in there, but it's just it just um, it's inundated with with the, the grassy notes. I'm ready. My, I mouth, my mouth is watering. Yeah, this is this is good stuff. Mm. <laughs> well, we're we're spitting these because we've got a lot of these to do, and you, you drank it. I yeah, I drank it. As you can see, we're using very small uh, samples. Uh, these particular glasses Ooh. are are our tequila tools for now. And um, they require very small samples to get um, to get the bouquet, to get the, an aroma, to get some flavor out of it. And what do you think? I'm I got some pepper on the back end. There's some some good uh, white pepper in there. Mm -hmm. It really coats the palate. I mean, I just had a little swig. I didn't even swallow it. I I, I, I had to spit it because obviously, obviously we're tasting quite a few tequilas tonight. Mm -hmm. And it's just it just fills the, the palate. It just coats the palate uh, so nicely. It's got a nice uh, lip numbness, gum numbness to it when you hold the uh, the tequila in in the front of your mouth here. You really taste the agave. Yes, the agave really comes through. I'm gonna have to go for it in a second. <laughs> it is a complete blanco. Yeah, and yeah, the and it, the color is actually very very it nice. Is. It's a it's a it's very clear and pure. It's, I wouldn't say crystalline, right? Because because uh, it just doesn't it doesn't look like some of the other blancos, but definitely, definitely, you can taste the, the taona. There's definitely a, a uh, you can taste the la piedra, as as I like to call it, and some people like to call it. Uh, so it's it's there, and as we said, it is. Uh, some of the pictures that we had seen of the of the mill itself is rather small, but this is a small batch of tequila, so. And I, I like to think that the the Tahona adds a, a depth, this, this this depth to to the tequila, and I I, I can really tell in this in this uh, swarm. I used to say it would give a mi a, a mineral flavor to yeah. it, but but again, this is this this is a real true um, Highlands Tahona combination, and so it was really different for me. I mean, at one point I even thought, okay, well, there's a little bit Tahona, but it might even be a blend, maybe kind of like Siete Leguas, but um, there's no, I, I tell you what, 
from what I can see, and and, and I've talked to, to both uh, owners, Lawrence and and um, the gentleman's name escapes me right now, Mr. Sokol, but um, they they're young, they're smart, they they got their stuff together, they're edgy, um, and and really, you know, the, the presentation they they you can tell where the, the the money has been spent in this investment. It's been spent not so much on a fancy bottle, but it's been spent on a nice graphic, very attractive uh, POS, you know, some t-shirts, some hoodies. Uh, but the, the juice is is the really juice outstanding. Is juice is it's outstanding. You want to try the reposado? Yes. Reposado is, uh, according to our notes here, is rested in uh, white oak bourbon barrels. So, um, and as you can tell on the, on the reposado, it's n not very dark, so, yeah, it's actually lighter than than lighter some than others. Usual. Yeah, um, well, I wouldn't say lighter. It just doesn't have it doesn't have a deep amber color to it like you typically. No, have. yeah, um, and I'm not sure if that's because of the of the newness of the barrels um, or the the amount of time because um, they're using um, oak oak barrels. They're using the the yeah the the oak barrels. Oh, whoa! Whew. Wow! Wow! Like candy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got that instant caramel. We got a got, got a caramel puff in you know. Oh my gosh, it's like I hit that. Yeah. Wow, it's got so much uh, going on in there. It's got nice legs too, by the way. It's got a beautiful aroma. Yes. I can still smell the agave coming through there, but now it's, you know, you've got the, the, the roasting, the roasted agave, obviously. Beautiful nose. Wow, this one just, if you're not careful, you get, you know, you're not getting the alcohol. What you're getting is you're, you're getting that barrel smell, yeah, and the, the, and the even, spiciness even, the candy. Even at a distance, at a distance, you can smell the aroma. Yeah. It's just, it's just, again, oozing out of the glass. It's just beautiful. I'm going for it. Mm, I kept that one. Again, really coats your palate. A lot of caramel. <clears throat> very, very, uh, it's a little uh, on the sweet side almost. Mm -hmm. oh. For the spittoon. <laughs> we have the spittoon down here. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of these tequilas, boys and girls. So, but uh, when you do these, and if you are doing some of these tastings at home, we recommend that you don't take the whole thing. Um, you know, don't be afraid to dump and spit because that's what it's all about. Sure, you want to if you want to taste or you want to do a flight, which is kind of what we're doing. Um, that was the word we were looking for. The flight. If yes. You want to do a flight of, of different tequilas if you have a, some friends over and you're having a little tequila tasting party. That's the way to do it. That way, everybody can, you know, have a good time and and be able to drive home safely later. But that's uh, it's got a great balance to it. Very well rounded. It's outstanding. I'm, I'm impressed. I am too. And we're we're we've got a couple of minutes here. We're going to do uh, the añejo now, and and we're going to take take a look at the, this is the añejo right here, and you can see where the, the it, it's got a, a brighter golden color. It yes. is pretty. It's a pretty color. Most of the color would you know right in the añejo right where it's supposed to be. Actually, I mean, these guys really did it traditionally. Um, from what I can tell, there's there's not a weak link in this chain, ladies and gentlemen. Well, they started with a very good blanco. And yes. that's really where it all starts. It all starts. Um, you can either make it or break it with you know, with a good blanco. You and I have had blancos that were wonderful as a blanco, and then you, you taste the other two marks and yeah. yeah. So um, let's take a oh whoa. Now see this is completely different. I'm not getting the same the same the same caramel spirit. It's almost like a honey. Yeah, it is a honey, the floral honey notes. Wow. Actually, a lot of honey in there. A lot of honey. <clears throat> Beautiful. Just like a honey nectar. Wow. And some nut. There's there's, there's like some, honey yeah, nut. There's not actually, yeah. It's like, not, not like cereal. Beautiful legs, very consistent legs all the way across in all three of these. Got a little bit of 
a little spiciness in there. Very nice. Very nice nose. Yeah. It's very elegant. Um, it's one of those, you know, they, they, they kind of have a, a, an edgy look to them, but this is a very elegant sipper. And, and they're, uh, so far their marketing has been very consistent. Um, I, I like their marketing. I like what they're doing. I like these two guys. Let's taste this and see what we got. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Again, coats the palate. Very, it's very rich. That one just really flowed right on my mm -hmm. on my on my tongue on my palate. Yeah. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, it's got a great finish, but it doesn't. It doesn't coat the palate to linger. No, it doesn't. Um, so, you know, some some añejos that you have, once they coat your palate, you're you're done. You know, it's it's very difficult to try to taste anything further because yeah, this one kind of slipped off my tongue. Yeah, but but it <laughs> if that makes any sense. Well, it, you know, we're talking the finish itself is is great. <clears throat> the finish is, is there. It's a good strong finish, but it doesn't it's linger. It's short. It, yeah, it's a short finish. But it doesn't, but it doesn't, ta-da, ta-da, so it doesn't, you know, and, and I, opinion? I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised. I thought it would be bigger. Oh, the, the taste you mean? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I like it. Yeah. It's different. Well, and it, I mean, it's on, it's on my palate. But it, it's, it's. You I thought guess, it would have a more of a, more, more of, of a, a oh, sweeter añejo and, 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 and Yeah. But uh, it's because of. The, the 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 notes and the nose were deceiving to me. You I thought it'd be a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, in, in the mouth. Well, see, and f for me, I thought it was very pleasant, um, and uh, I thought that it was equal. You know, the what I was expecting from the smell was 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 there. I I, I thought it was very you consistent. Uh, yeah, very consistent. In my opinion. It's it's actually very good. It's not um, it's not a heavy on you. No, it's not. It isn't. And and I think they did that purposely because if you decide that you want to use any of the any of these uh, marks uh, or expressions in a in a margarita or in a cocktail, it would lend itself really well to uh, to mixing. Maybe an old fashioned or something like that. Where Most definitely this you know, this I would yeah, try on that. Yeah, we'll have to try that. Later. We'll have to try it. Very good. Well, what would you think? I, I think it's a keeper. I think it's a winner. I think it is a, a definite contender for our Brands nice. of Promise Awards that were a tequila aficionado for the first time. We'll be giving away this year, uh, awarding Brands of Promise Awards. And we've never done it before, but uh, we are gearing it to startup brands like Suerte. So I would say that Suerte is in the running for a, a Brand of Promise. Yes. Yes, most definitely very, very good candidate. And kudos, kudos to them. Highly recommended. It's a great brand. I think so too. Yeah, very good. I'm Mike Morales. I'm Alex Perez. This is Tequila Aficionado. And you've been seeing, you've been listening to Sipping Off the Cup. Sip wisely. <laughs>